Get ready to rev your engines and dive into the world of automotive legend, Danny the Count Coker. You might know him from the hit TV show Counting Cars and his kick-ass shop, Count's Customs, but did you ever wonder why he pumped the brakes on the show, even when it was riding high? Stick around, folks, because we're about to spill the gasoline-soaked beans. First things first, how did Danny earn the title, The Count? Well, way before he was turning wrenches on TV, he was sinking his teeth into a different kind of role, a vampire named Count Cool Rider on local Los Angeles TV. That's right, folks. He's been rocking that gothic vibe since way back when. And it's not just a stage persona. It's a way of life. Danny's love for all things dark and spooky runs deeper than a pit full of cobras. But hold on to your seatbelts because Danny's talents don't stop at car restoration. Nope. This dude is a multifaceted gem. With a musical background in his blood, Danny's also the frontman of Count 77, a band that'll have you headbanging harder than a piston in overdrive. Now, let's talk cars. Danny's been customizing rides since he was knee-high to a hubcap, and he's got the garage full of beauties to prove it. From vintage classics to modern muscle, this guy can transform anything with four wheels into a rolling masterpiece. But here's the kicker. He's picky. Like, really picky. Quality over quantity, baby. Danny only takes on projects that ooze authenticity and craftsmanship. And let's not forget about his personal car collection. It's a gearhead's dream come true. From the iconic 32 Ford Roadster to the jaw-dropping 66 Mustang GT350. Each ride in Danny's stable is a work of automotive art. But why did counting cars come screeching to a halt after a decade of tire-squealing action? Well, the road got a little bumpy, folks. Viewership took a nosedive. Allegations of fraud and embezzlement were flying around, and Danny had a full plate with his restaurant, bar, and other business ventures. Sometimes, you gotta know when to hit the brakes and focus on what's important. But fear not, gearheads because Danny's still burning rubber in the fast lane of life. He's rocking out with his band, slinging drinks at his bar, and tattooing up a storm at his shop, all while turning out killer custom cars like nobody's business. So, what do you think, folks? Should counting cars make a comeback, or is Danny better off without the cameras? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more automotive awesomeness. Until next time, keep on riding.